Thor Ragnarok trailer. I saw that trailer and instantly just, I'm pretty sure, like, just achieved uh, full erection. Yeah. Dude, I watched it. I watched it again. And then I watched it again. And then I finally sent it, like, links to people. I sent out, like, six links to different people. And I was just freaking out. I put it on my Facebook. I put it on ours. I put it everywhere. I was like, oh, my God. Ah. Like, <laughs> I figured I, you must have been pretty excited due to the fact that you instantly sent it to me. Yeah. Like, usually you're, uh, usually it's, uh, like, okay, he'll find it when he gets a chance to or something like that. Or you'll say, hey, did you check this out? Yeah. But no, you're like, no, I am sending the direct link to him. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I saw it, and I sent the link directly to Tiffany. <laughs> like I, it was it, so it was, good. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Uh, like the the whole uh, planet uh, Hulk and you know Thor thing mixing together. Yeah. So they basically took uh, bits from Planet Hulk and bits from like the Ragnarok like event um, and mashed them together. Now, the um, one thing I kind of mm -hmm. feel is kind of messed up is, okay, the Planet Hulk portion, obviously, Hulk becomes the hero of the planet, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing. The whole That's the whole point of it. Mm -hmm. Well, this one, it looks like they took that role and gave it to Thor. Now, maybe they're going to give the, you know, the whole role to both of them, which makes sense. But it just is that it did not feel that way at that trailer during that trailer to you. Well, what it what it felt to me like was that that Hulk's been there for a while. He's the champion. Like he he has already won over the crowd. Everyone loves him. You know what I mean. Uh, and they bring in challengers to try to beat Hulk, and Hulk's just crushing everyone. That's okay. why. Oh yeah. That's why they're like, oh, who'd you bring? And they're like, oh, a contender. You know what I mean? It's not just like any some random dude. some random guy. Like they're actually trying to like get people strong to like fight Hulk, and so they bring in Thor. But uh, no, man, I, I saw it. Um, Kate Blanchett, like as Hella, I was just like, <laughs> like, like first first thing, like it opens up with him dropping in the chains, and I was like, who the hell is this in chains? And then they like zoom in, and it's it's Thor. I was like, oh shit. And then uh, they, you know, he's like, like oh, you want to know how I got here? And, like, they th show him and he throws the hammer. And you're like, okay, stuff's going down. But then, boom, she, like, palms it and, like, catches the hammer. And then, like, and destroys and then crushes it. Mjolnir. She just You cannot squish Mew Mew. She crushed it. You can't crush Mew Mew. And, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, from that moment on. And then she, when she crushes it, then, uh, was it, uh, Immigrant Song? From Led yeah. Zeppelin just starts playing, and it just like, <laughs> oh. Did you see the uh, the the thing they posted on uh, one of the memes? It was how I felt when I th saw the Thor trailer, yeah. and it was going along with uh, uh, School of Rock. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Because uh, you know how he's in the van and he's sing he's singing that song. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's going along with that, and it's showing bits and pieces of the trailer, and he's singing along with it, and he's like, "Yes, yes, Summer, you're getting eight, st five stars all around." <laughs> I've like, not seen that one. I'll have to look that yeah, one up. Yeah, that was like it matched up perfectly. It was so good. Uh, uh, but but oh my god! Like I watched that. I watched I watched it seriously over a dozen times that day. Like, yeah, I, I watched it so much, and then I watched I, the like Kevin Smith, like did a little video where he just went live on Facebook and was like, "Oh my god, guys!" And like he was just talking about it, and then he's like, "He's like, okay, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna push play and watch it now. So if you guys wanna wanna watch it with me, just get ready." And then he's like, "Okay," and I'm pushing play now and then like he's like talking about it as he's going, and he's just like losing his mind, and like that's how I felt. I was like, "Oh my god, I know!" Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was it was it was epic. It really was. I'm really excited, uh, and you know, there's shit tons of memes coming out of uh, Thor and Hulk and stuff like that. Yeah, like 
just from the first trailer, there's just memes galore <laughs> of Thor. Yeah. Um, the whole, like, a lot of people were, were like, kind of, like, scoffing at the whole, like, you know, friend from work thing. But I thought it was yeah. hilarious. Oh, like, yes. Um, it, um, but I, I'm really, uh, what, really... What, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? When his look on his face after uh, Thor goes, yes! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, I, I know it was Jeff something. I was like, what, what, what's it? What is it? Uh, but yeah, it, the look on his face when uh, Thor was like, yes, was fantastic. Just the whole audience just grew silent. And they're like, wait, what? I loved how excited Thor like looked. You know what I mean? Like, like there's one thing to be like, yeah, you know, but like he was just, he looked like a little kid, he was just so excited. He's like, yeah! A little kid that just got his favorite toy. <laughs> right. And he was like, what? He got way like, too excited for that. And it was He is hilarious. in the weirdest predicament ever. <laughs> uh, Mirror is dead, and he's stuck on some random-ass planet. Because mm -hmm. I, I, he might know where he's at, but I'm, I'm guessing he probably doesn't really know where he's at. He's just stuck there. Right. And, uh, you know... He's like a fucking kid in a candy store yeah. when Hulk shows up. Yeah. Uh, Dude, and then and, Idris Elba, uh, you, you see like him for like a split second. He's got like long like dreads and he's like got that big sword and he's like fighting dudes. And I'm like, oh man, this is going to be so good. Yeah, I mean it, it really – it looks like they're going to have like two – two things going on at the same time. Uh, the planet Hulk thing is going to be going on mm -hmm. with Thor and Hulk, and then uh, on one planet, and then the whole uh, thing is going to be happening over in Asgard for a while, and I'm assuming sooner or later they're going to meet up in the middle. And right. at some point, an Infinity Stone is going to show up. Yeah, at least um, we, we believe so. I mean, it'd have to, right? Because after that is Avengers. I mean, we have Guardians of the Galaxy still. But... Uh, uh. I, yeah, it's either well. I guess they could throw either a second Infinity or the last Infinity Stone in Guardians, or throw the last Infinity Stone in, in Stone and Thor, mm -hmm. or Black Panther. Yeah, maybe, maybe Black Panther. Because Black Panther comes out before Avengers too. Yeah, the, there's all the uh, vibranium that stuff's from uh, uh, outer space. So, so you think maybe a Infinity Stone got stuck in that shit? Maybe, yeah, maybe they'll use that as an excuse to put an Infinity Stone there. I don't know. I'm just like think thinking of places that it could possibly show up. Master says that the Planet Hulk thing is just going to be that fight, and then it's back to Thor. Uh, yeah. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy is definitely going to set up Avengers. I think but, at the end of this, we're going to see. Uh, I, I mean. I guess it depends on the. Well, obviously, the Guardians things, is going to set up the Avengers, but still, the the stone still has to show. It doesn't necessarily have to show up in Avengers or mm -hmm. Guardians. Because, like, technically, where they're at, uh, you know, the the Guardians and Thor and Hulk could potentially cross paths. Just or at least there. be mentioned along each other. Right. Like they, um, they could just be out there and. Cause, yeah, because be... finally, you know, uh, and some of the Avengers actually left Earth. Yeah. Um, so, you know, maybe they, they could come uh, across... They got to they gotta do some sort of... Something more with the Planet Hulk thing than just one little fight. Yeah, I, I think it'd be very disappointing if it was just the one fight. It'd be cool if we got to see, like, if they actually take the time and they set up, uh, like, uh, Hulk and his family... And, like, actually show potentially he, uh, he could end up having, like, a kid. And they could show, uh, no, like, Scar no. show later. That, that, I don't think they're going to do that. Just due to the fact that it would lo lose, like, the whole uh, weird romance thing with Bruce Banner. And, um, uh, uh, fuck, Scarlet Witch. Or not Scarlet Witch. God, why did I say Scarlet what? Witch? Black, Black Widow. Widow. Yeah. No, they already ended that. That's over. They're not doing that again. When the fuck did that end? What do you mean? That ended at the end of the uh, Avengers. The first one? Second one. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> when he was like a sad baby in the in the tiny jet for the huge Hulk. 
Yeah, just because he flew away doesn't mean he's the yeah, fucking he, romance thing is over. Yeah, he he's ended a that fucking, shit. He ended that no, shit. He ended that. Hulk ended that shit. Yeah. Maybe Bruce Banner didn't. Bruce Banner ended that shit. They made a decision together. No, Bruce Banner and Hulk don't make decisions together. They Fuck did that too. shit. They did too. They, no. They they officially cut that out. They were like, she's like, maybe she's like, hey, she call does. me. And then guess what? They didn't call her. <laughs> like, <laughs> they just let They flew it go. to another planet. They, they, I guess. I want to know how the hell Hulk got there. Like, that's what I want to know. Like, well, I mean, uh, he was flying off in a jet. Apparently, that jet is like fucking space worthy. I don't. I don't think it's a space worthy jet. I think he apparently had... <laughs> it's fucking space worthy. All right, because I mean, uh, I remember at the like at the end of watching that, uh, me and Masters were both talking about how uh, there was already rumors starting about Planet Hulk afterwards. Yeah, because uh, there was a slight you know upward angle of the spaceship. And stuff like that, and him flying off and not talking to anyone, this and that, this and that. I mean, as soon as that movie was, like, done, people were already talking about Planet Hulk. Uh, uh, did you pause the Facebook thing? No, but live video interrupted, huh? Yeah. What? What's going on here, OBS? <laughs> uh, uh, it's back. It's back. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. I was going to say, OBS is running perfect. So. I didn't drop a... F oh. What? It Okay. I don't know what the hell happened. Literally, the live um, just stopped. It just restarted. Okay. That was weird. So, uh, I don't know. Like, I think, because maybe they could just be like, oh, since it's like this other planet and it's out in space, maybe, like, time on this planet moves differently. And, like, they've been, like, maybe Hulk, even though he just got there, like, recently... Like, time moves differently, and he's been there for, like, a year or two, and was able to, like, become the champion of this planet, and, you know, find romance, and potentially have a kid, and stuff like that. Well, I mean, by this point, hasn't he been there for a year or two? I mean, we don't know how long he's been there. Probably since Avengers. I doubt he left the planet on that, that stupid. I'm little telling you, he jet. left that planet that on jet, that little teeny jet. No, that jet did that not. That jet is fully space worthy. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Plus, the Hulk can hold his breath really well. Yeah, but what do you do? Like get like to like atmospheric, then just jump and just call it yes, a day. That like, is what the Hulk just does. One, one. I mean, all he needs look, is one good jump to hold his breath the rest of the way. Look, I'm pretty sure it was only Cosmic Hulk that was able to jump from planet to planet. I don't think any other Hulk has technically done that. All you need is, I mean, anyone can go planet to planet. They need one good push. I mean, granted, <laughs> different people will travel at different speeds, so he'll just get to atmosphere and fucking just do one big ass jump. So he'll push the plane down, and he'll just go at fucking mock speed to whatever the close, whatever <laughs> so planet he hits. What you're saying is, Hulk's been spending all this time just literally leaping from planet to planet until he found one that he couldn't just leap off of. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. He crashed onto the planet like a fucking meteor, and they just started putting him in fights. Do you think that they're going to give, in this movie, on, on this planet, that Hulk is going to have, like, Bruce Banner intellect like he did in uh, Planet Hulk? Like, because in, in, in Planet Hulk, like, he had, like, a sane mind, you know what I mean? He just was in the Hulk body. Hello? What? Are you gonna listen? <laughs> I, I I wasn't paying attention to you. Oh my god, do you think they're going to like let Hulk have like a clear mind and be like able to talk and like be sane? Because like in Planet Hulk, like the comic, like he basically had like almost Bruce Banner's mind, but as the Hulk. Hmm. Maybe? Uh it might be a bit of a stretch for movie-wise. I don't know why, but it just mm -hmm. seems like something they would decide to completely ruin. Right. I yeah. mean, but... I think, it's, I think it's too big of a stretch to think that the giant green monster guy can actually, like, have a sane mind. Be you know, because, well, you know, it, while it, they're on the different It sounds planet... like you might actually be saying that <laughs> jokingly, but honestly, it's honest-to-God truth for it, a movie. It is. It, I am saying it jokingly because they're on a goddamn other planet... The God of Thunder is fighting a giant green monster. They're both wearing, like, Greek armor. Like, <laughs> I think... 
I it's think, it's too I much of a stretch it's, for movies to decide to do that because no, the giant green monster, monster can't suddenly gain a conscious. Oh my god, yes they can. In in Avengers two, they literally just made a dude out of nothing and then put a gem on his head and he came to life. That makes like perfect made, sense. They, made, they used a fucking they, gem. They made brand new but to Pinocchio. Make Hulk. They made Pinocchio. you know have a conscious. What? No, they can't do that. Yes, That's, they can. that, that. Movies can't do that. Yes, they can. Real easy. They just say, and now Hulk can think. And like that's nope, it. Nope. <laughs> that's nope. It. They won't do it. No, I guarantee they won't do it. I guarantee it. Uh, and especially seeing I mean if Masters is if Masters is right and they are gonna just do one quick thing, like it's just mm. gonna be like, let's say a ten minute fucking portion of this goddamn movie. Yeah. Then that's they're not gonna spend enough time on that planet to even point out the fact that he had his intellect as the Hulk. So what they're going to probably do is just phase right over that point. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to be, like, super early. I think that they're going to... Like, well, they're going to do I, I think the they're beginning be on... intro scene of What's-Her-Face. Then it's going to fucking switch over to, uh... Um... Uh, yeah. I goddamn. Think, I think, like, The Planet 20... Hall part. Yeah. That's going like... to be maybe a 20-minute part. And then they're going to switch back to everyone getting their ass kicked to Asgard. No, I think 20 minutes is, like, setting up the whole thing with Hela... And right, that's said, 20 minutes, getting, 20 and, minutes, and then fucking no, Asgard. No, the Asgard's going to be like 20 minutes at the end. Like, it's going to be a large portion of, like, them being on this planet and Planet Hulk stuff, and then... Uh, I'm That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping they have to do a little bit more with Planet Hulk stuff than just a quick fucking in and out, but, you know. Like, like I think they're going to be on the, the planet doing, like, the Planet Hulk stuff trying to figure out how to get off other stuff's going to be going on and on I mean, you know in asgard they can't, they can't we're going to put gonna them on the that. planet try and start the planet hulk stuff and not make them the saviors of the planet hulk right i think they're going to solve that they shit. get that and then they're going to find a way back home and then they're going to you know do all this other stuff and they're going to come back to asgard and fight in asgard uh unless, unless someone unless, in our uh, Twitch t- chat that said something. It uh, is implied in Civil War that they have been there a while, but in Guardians 1, they picked up Star-Lord, so we know people are being taken. He said this while we were talking about Thor jumping from planet to planet. I honestly don't know what part he heard and uh, commented that's, on. That's Richard. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I mean... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure because... The, the thing with Civil War, like, we don't know how long, you know, it, it's been for for uh, uh, Hulk to have been gone. And we don't know, af- you know, how long after Oh, okay, Avengers... you're talking about the time difference between Avengers. I'm mean, assuming it's yeah, just pretty much the regular time between the movies. Yeah, because he's saying from Avengers to Civil War. But yeah, about, I mean, Avengers: The Civil War. We still I mean, don't know when uh, Banner left Earth. We don't know that. Like, he could have been Banner left Earth right off the fucking bat. I'm no, telling he you. did not. Who? Yes, he did. What did he do? He just sneak aboard a fucking spaceship and just get. No, sent? I told you what happened. He didn't. Fucking, he didn't he just drive that like... rinky dink boat fucking out into space. Like he didn't do that. Yes, he did. That is a that is an atmospheric. Like ship that does not go into space. It's a shield plane. They can do whatever the fuck no, they, they want. No, they cannot. Yes, they can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, but yeah, he said. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Someone could have abdu- abducted him, but yeah. Uh, so so he just leaps from Earth, and someone's like, "Hey, see this? See Hulk? Pick him up. Let's go. Yeah, see, see that big ass green guy that's scary <laughs> as fuck? Right. Yeah, go grab him." Okay. But I guess I guess technically uh Richard's guy and I got a point like there's like I guess the possibility, right? That he got because, abducted because Star-Lord was abducted. So maybe they abducted Bruce Banner. Yeah, but Star-Lord was abducted for like a specific re- reason. He wasn't abducted like by that planet to uh you know, spe- I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess that planet could be going around stealing people for the fights and they knew fucking Hulk was strong so they abducted him as Bruce Banner like knocked him the fuck out and took him to another planet I mean I guess that's a possibility right um, but I think it, it it doesn't align with the f- uh, fact of what he did at the end of the movie I think he left on his own 
reason. Because, it, and it also matches up more, like, the um, re- ways of the comics a little bit more. I mean, granted, the ways of the comics, they said uh, they were shipping him out. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they tricked him. They abducted him and sent him into space. Yeah, they, they, were, they, like, totally they were like, him. Hulk is a menace. He yeah, they're like, hey, we're going to have a party for you, and then they fucking dope him and ship him out. Yeah, the Illuminati. Like, yeah, they, they fucking they fucking <laughs> really fucked with him. And was he it, was, was it, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Doctor Strange, Professor X? Who uh, was else in that? Iron Man. Was he? Mm-hmm. Iron Man's part, always been part of the Illuminati. Um, I think Captain America, yeah, Captain America was a ri- part of the original Illuminati. Um, I was just trying to remember who was all the Illuminati whenever they decided to send yeah, and he, Hulk. Each but either way, Hulk, either way, like, Hulk got but, mad, and when he got back, he... Yeah, and he wasn't even supposed to end up on that planet. He was supposed to end up on a planet that was completely deserted, but when he got pissed, he fucking broke everything in that goddamn spaceship. Yeah. And, uh, obviously... I mean, how did they not expect that to happen? Did they really think they could build a Hulk-proof spaceship? But, all right, that's beside the point. He left... I think he left on his own accord because... At the end of the movie, obviously, it's pointing towards that's what's going on. He wants mm-hmm. to leave because he knows he's a menace. Right. So, uh, you know, after realizing he's way too much like Spider-Man and being a menace to society, mm-hmm. uh, he, you know, just flies away in that shield ship. Right. And and I and I, I agree that he flies away, but I don't think that that was flying into space. That was just flying no, no, off no into the comment, sunset. At least on the Spider-Man. No, uh, no, because I understand what you're trying to do. Okay, okay, and at least, at least was, got it. I, I bear at least a little chuckle, something. Nope, I'm going to ignore it, because the last time I, I acknowledged it, there was, like, some... You do, like, some crazy J. Jonah Jameson impersonation, I remember that. Like, I found, like, the video, like, one of our podcasts, there's, like, a... You did, like, an entire closing comments as J. Jonah Jameson. I did not, did I? Yes, you did. I'll get the audio. <laughs> wow, that's pretty epic. Yeah. You, was it awful, or was it, it actually it was, pretty entertaining? It was it was awful, but it was entertaining. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> at least it was entertaining. Yeah. No, I lost it. I, it, I and then I was listening to it, and I lost it again. I was like, oh my god. Um, uh. But either way, I uh, I I'm sure we'll get like information on like the Hulk and all that. But the the trailer looked awesome. I just want to talk about the trailer. We don't want to stop getting into conjecture like we're we're just making up shit now well i mean really we're we're fighting over nothing honestly there isn't a lot of to go over left over to go over on the trailer it's a it's It's the first trailer so there really isn't a lot going on it's it's basically a little bit more than a teaser at this point we we really went over the entire trailer yeah i mean they they talked about the they well i mean they even labeled it as a teaser trailer like it wasn't a full-on trailer um but uh, there's a lot of cool things that they did. I am a big fan of, like, the... It sounds really dumb, and even, like, Kevin Smith brought it up, but, like, the title, like, the Thor Ragnarok, it looks like an old-school, like, 80s, yeah. like, like 70s, 80s, like, like And then you have metal, the song, too. Metal poster, like, 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 the... Or, like, metal thing. Like, if have you ever seen the movie Heavy Metal? Mm-hmm. It's 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 that like cover, if you like, like like yeah. I mean it's it's perfect for I mean what's going like the the song goes perfectly with that cover as well. Yeah, but I mean like Uh, like like but I mean the the title like it just looks that way. Then yeah, obviously Led Zeppelin. The the cool thing like I didn't realize this is that for the original movie, the first Avengers movie. They tried to get the immigrant song, but uh, I think it might be Sony who has the rights for it. Uh, but they couldn't secure the music rights for the song, oh. and so they couldn't use it in the movie. And they were super bummed about it. And so finally, now Marvel gets to use the immigrant song, and they they're putting it into into at least the Thor trailer. Um, but well, I, th- I, mean, I think I think it did really well. It served the movie well. Um, oh yeah, it did. And I'm I'm super excited about about everything. The director, you know, from Forever Go, he was saying, you know, he changed things up, wanted to make it feel different than the other Thor movies. Was wanting to go in a different direction. I think he did that. 
I think it looks cool. Um, I'm super excited. I'm so pumped. I, like before, I was like, oh, the movie might be pretty cool, right? Because the Thor movies, Thor one and Thor two, weren't like amazing. They were like, oh, they were enjoyable movies, but they were not like the best Marvel movies, right? But uh, this feels like it could be one of the top Marvel movies. Well, I thought the first Thor was actually pretty good. Um, the second one was honestly, I don't know, it, it felt okay, but it felt like it was lacking something. The the first one just felt too short. Like it did feel short. It, um, it just, like, I think it like focused he... on the people too much. And that's why it felt short. But, I mean, it still had a good storyline and base to it. It yeah. just didn't have as much action base as a lot of the other um, Marvel movies do. Right. So I think that's my, why it might have There wasn't felt very much Thor short. in the Thor movie. There was a lot of Thor. It's just, it was a lot of, okay, yeah, he was more of, like, just random civilian Thor, though. Yeah, he was earning back Thor and earning the hammer. And, I yeah, I think that's why... Um, a lot of people, uh, there, I mean, not a lot of people, I, I know uh, people that dislike the first Thor movie, um, and, I mean, I, I get it, but at the same time, I thought it was a really good storyline, and it was a, it was a decent bit different than what you get out of a lot of these Marvel movies, where it's just superhero action, superhero action, random joke, random pun. Uh, I mean, it just, the only it, bit of action we really had in the movie was the end scene with him. And the no, destroyer. I understand. Like, I understand. Was, I'm not, I'm not, it, I, it, well, it, uh, no, I, the, the whole, um, planet, uh, with the ice giants. Uh, I guess they did what, do the ice giants. That ice was gi pretty epic. That was, that was cool. But like, we I had mean, that, that. That was when you really got the good fighting out of Thor. Yeah. We the had first that. Time. We had that in the beginning and then we didn't it have was anything else. Lam Thor the rest of the time. I, like and I said, I like get Thor it. Thor smashing, coffee mugs on the ground and, and shit which like was that. hilarious which, which was don't get me wrong but it wasn't like you know comic book movie it was just like a comedy you know what i mean like and then and then they finally switched back to thor being thor and it was cool again but it was very shortly lived i i, I think it was nice to have something a little bit different so when you're going because i i don't know about you but every once in a while i feel like watching going through the fucking list of marvel movies and when i'm going through the when i'm watching my through my list of marvel movies mm -hmm. and the um it's it's nice to have a little bit of a different um movie pop in there like that one mm -hmm. um because you know you got like you got iron man uh you got hulk um and then you got it was cap and then thor right no it was iron man 2 cap then thor i believe I think so. And Cap is just, it seems re it seems like really slow paced. Oh yeah, the and first one definitely was. The, re the first Captain America was really slow paced. Uh, honestly, I think I'd rather watch the first Thor than that one. Oh um, yeah, I agree, 100%. Uh, and uh, however, the, the second Captain America was so damn good. Like It really was. It was way, it, it, it was way better than the second Thor. Oh yes, I like I said. I don't. I don't even. I'm not even that big of a fan of Second Thor. We are getting so far off topic. I don't even know what the fuck we're <laughs> because well, we, we were talking about. We were talking about the trailer. We were talking about the trailer. Okay, but either way, I think this this one definitely looks about ten times better than the Second Thor. Yeah. Um, and obviously, well, once again, I think it's better than the first Thor, but or it looks better. But um, I I still think the first Thor was a pretty good movie, overall. Yeah, I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it was enjoyable and I liked it, it just, it, it felt really slow at times. Not as slow as Captain America 1. And I still like Captain America 1, too, but not as slow as Captain America 1. <laughs> yeah, Captain America 1 was... And Captain America 1 still destroys uh... <laughs> the shit out of Iron Man 3. <laughs> there were there were parts of Iron Man 3 that I thought were really good, but yeah, overall, as a movie, it... it... It, it fell apart. They didn't even have a fucking villain, really. Like, 90% of it, it was him chasing over an imaginary guy that didn't exist, and then all of a sudden there's fucking random people that catch on fire and explode. What the fuck was happening in that entire movie? What do you mean? Those guys, that was extremists. Like, they talked about that through the whole I, entire I, movie. They talk about it, but, like, They, until... they show people blowing up through the whole movie. They had the girls shooting stuff, killing, like, attacking them at the bar. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, they, they literally did extremists through the whole entire movie. Yeah, and they just and, blamed and then, it on bombings and stuff. 
and then yeah, and then they just like, said it was just like like suicide bombers or some shit. I don't know. It just felt like the. All right, it doesn't matter. All right, 